Everyone, we are here with actor Chloe Perry and writer director Courtney Roy. Uh, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm well. Uh, you guys have a new film premiering at South by Southwest called Cryptic on March 10th. Um, and I'm sure you guys are super excited about it. Um, can you, uh, Courtney, can you give me kind of the basic rundown of what Cryptic is about? Yeah. Um, uh, Cryptic is, first of all, um, I wasn't the writer of this film. We'll just let you know. Paul, oh, well, Paul story. Paul the writer. Sorry. No, it's all right. So, because oh, he's going to read this and I'll be like, what the f <laughs> So, <laughs> thought, let's just get that out of there right now. He wrote okay. it. Paul wrote it. But I'm, I'm the director. <laughs> got it. Um, got it. I, I mean, I would describe this. I mean, it's, it's difficult, obviously, to describe the plot because uh, it's, it's very easy to give spoilers. So, I sort of stick to uh, kind of sort of simple uh, explanations like, um, you know, it's a time bending creature feature um, or, you know, a sexual cycle thriller about a woman's search for a missing monster hunter. And, um, and her, you know, her growing realization that she's inescap inescapably linked to the creature being pursued. Um, I, if I would give it more sort of layman terms, I would say it's like, you know, it's um, it's it's a uh, it's just like for me, it's a supernatural road movie. Wow. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Um, yeah. Stay away from spoilers if at all possible. Uh, yeah. But to me, the discovery is so is that's 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 the fun. Um, so what inspired the story? Because you like and circling back on that, you didn't write the screenplay, but you and uh you and Paul did uh come up with the story, correct? Yes, yeah, we did come up with the story together, yeah. Okay. So, um, inspiration for, for cryptic. Sorry, is that what you want to know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry, I thought I thought I was interrupting you. Um cryptic mm. is um I mean, it's a very it was a, a very simple process with Paul that we kind of we came up we he wanted to write a script for me and i said sure uh, and then he said well what would you like to see in a film i said i like a monster and i said i'd like some supernatural elements and i i'd like some time bending moments um and paul said well i like i like road movies and i like female centered storytelling and i like doppelgangers um so let's start with that you know so it was very kind of basic kind of what do you want what do you want to see in a movie that you know that that would what what is it that we want? It was just kind of purely not looking about technical or practical aspects. It's just pure. What would give you pure joy to see? I love it. And so you just came up with a bunch of check boxes and and filled them. That's yeah, and then he just took the other way, and he kind of just did his magic, and he'd come back and he'd show me some drafts, and I'd he you know I'd give him feedback, we'd discuss, he'd go away again, he'd come back. So it was a very easy, easy, low stress, uh, and very fun process. That's so much fun. I love that. Now, Chloe, you play two roles uh you mm -hmm. play Kay, uh who is the main character uh can you talk to me about who Kay is yeah um well it's so interesting because Kay, you know um i don't know if it's a spoiler to say that fairly early on she kind of doesn't understand herself who she is okay. uh so it's kind of like a approaching a character who is like potentially quite alienated from herself um living a life that is feels slightly prescribed to her um and is struggling to kind of uh connect with people um at the beginning uh which is partly why she decides to go on a hike um and and then is kind of thrust into a situation where she meets herself uh in quite a like intense and imaginative way and um and goes on a journey of self-discovery um and every single scene every person she meets kind of everything she touches propels her forward into that how did you approach playing two separate people in the same movie um i kind of didn't treat it i initially thought i had to be really prescribed about when i was one or when i was the other but actually i realized it was just actually exploring that did itself and and it and it was more about just exploring the heartbeat of, of each scene i was in um yeah so i kind of tried to not treat it too much like two different people um because those elements i think were to a great deal taken care of by you know the other departments because of costume and because of production design and, and 
uh, cinematography plays such a role in how in how an audience will look at that person from one scene to the next. The next. Got, it. Got it. You um, Courtney, you the the film is described as a psycho thriller. Uh, yeah. That's similar to psychological horror. What is that? I don't, you know what? That's a good question. I didn't give it that name. <laughs> I just oh, made a movie. Wow. That, so and then they go, and then, you know, um, sales and producers go, this is what this is. And I went, okay. So um, <laughs> I'm I'm just a Murkog. I'm just, I'm a puppet. You know, I just make my stuff and then people people will give it names and labels. And it's, I, it's really beyond my control. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fabulous. Uh, but like what, what you, you described it earlier as, you know, this, uh, road movie uh, and so I suppose that's that's where what it is basically in in essence because you're the one who directed it um yeah I, yeah yeah for sure so so there you go um you mentioned uh I loved your director statement and you mentioned like a fear of the forest mm -hmm. what yeah what is it that scares you about the forest or scared you about the forest I mean, yeah, the, obviously, yeah, the forest was a big part of this film. Um, it's just, you know, it's it's the unknown. It's there's you don't know what's in there. It's it's lawless. It's not uncivilized, you know. I don't mean uncivilized like impolite. I mean like it's anything you'd be hiding out in there, right? right? Um, so it has for me, it's it has this this it, a sense of dread, I guess, which is different than fear because dread is about a fear of something you don't actually know what it is, right? It's just an overwhelming sort of experience um that that subsumes you um and the force but I, I wanted to contrast that which with the domestic realm which you see more in towards the end of the film right um in the home with morgan and how that perhaps the force is actually not as scary as as what you actually going to get inside this family home um which is actually infinitely more terrifying than any any creature you'll meet out in the forest right the 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 devil within is is far more frightening i suppose but um, mm -hmm. another thing that you mentioned is the duality of safe, clean places, like a mall parking lot and stuff like that. And I had to ask you, do you know about the back rooms? The back rooms? Yeah. No. What it's, are the back it's, rooms? Okay, look it up on YouTube because it'll creep back. you. The back, the back room. room. It's like, it's just, it's just creepy. It's just found footage of somebody walking around in like these completely empty but fully yeah. you know places it's it's you know it's awful. it's it's just so creepy i was back like I totally dig that um that sounds okay cool. back rooms back rooms sorry write these down you too <laughs> okay sweet. Well, tonight, huh? <laughs> yeah thank you no it's not well, it's charm so it's not it's doing not... with him at like eight o'clock at night <laughs> <laughs> No, it's just it's just it has a really eerie, creepy feeling, and I think that's similar to the 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 mall parking lot thing we were talking about in your statement. Okay. Uh, so when did you shoot, and how long was the shoot? Um, we shot September October two thousand twenty two, and we only it was originally nineteen days, um, but it, it got whittled down to seventeen because Chloe got sick for two days with COVID, so we did seventeen oh, day oh, shoot. Terrible. Oh. Sorry. She was really sick. It wasn't like a little cough. It was like, yeah, it was it was definitely had to stay home sick. And yeah. is this, is this your guys' first time or first film at South by and first film? And yeah. Okay, tell me how excited you are. Like, this is amazing, right? Yeah, it's freaking amazing. It's totally amazing. It's super exciting. I'm I'm leaving tomorrow, so I'm 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 over the moon. I can't wait to get there. Where are you? Right now, I'm in Paris, France. Okay, we're in Paris. Okay. So, man, that's going to be some jet lag, but it's going to be so worth it. You're going to love okay. it. Yeah, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough, um, I know. <laughs> the, um, how, have you shown the film to any friends and family, either of you? And if so, what were the reactions? Um, no, I haven't really shown friends and family yet. Kind of been just basically people who needed to see it. So it's, it's still sort of, a lot of people haven't seen it, including Chloe. So I haven't seen it yet. You so. haven't seen it yet. So are you just like just gonna wait till the premiere? I think yeah. so. Yeah. Um. I'm. Yeah. I'll see how I feel on the night. Um. I'm. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm really excited to. I, I think it's also just gonna be so much fun. And and um. Yeah. In fact, I know it is. And I kind of really enjoy talking about it as well, which is a really good sign, I think, when you 
Um, we haven't done any press yet until this evening, and it, I'm really, really like, it's all coming back to me now, and I'm remembering how much fun it was. So I think it's just a good sign. And well, I, I think that I think that you should just wait and just see it with everyone, and just yeah. just walk over. Uh, well, it'll be fun. I can't wait for you to see it. Actually, it'll be so fun. <laughs> are you are you guys horror people, or if so, what uh, what what horror films have you seen that you just really done oh I, I i do love some horror like i do love horror um not all horror but yeah it's such a vast genre but um like my favorite my favorite horror film of all time is um the thing carpenter's the thing oh, so yes yeah, yeah. I the just inspiration for me such a good and the practical effects man oh oh amazing it's just the best yeah that was definitely a huge reference you know it's, it's yeah. such a such an incredible every time i watch it it's just terrifying it's amazing i love it and it gives you such an uneasy feeling, you know? Oh, yeah. It's yeah. all the emotions. I run the gauntlet from everything. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, what about you? Um, I, uh, well, I actually used to be so kind of just scared of, of, of horror, you know, like find it very like overwhelming, <laughs> quite a sense of person. Um, but I love anything that is like, like psychological as much as it is like, gory or anything like that um, and I, I'm i struggling to think of like specific examples uh, but I feel I watched actually not long well a couple of years ago but um, It Follows and I really enjoyed that you know it's very different from this and like I was but this is clever really clever and kind of taps into so much and, and sort of ridiculous and I, I love the hysteria of horror as well and like what it brings out of you um and I I feel that way when I'm watching thrillers as well. But like, yeah, there is a particular like, uh, the strangeness. Anything, um, David Lynchy as well. Like when there's just a strangeness to a world where it's oh, everything upside Lynch. down, in and out, and and like you just don't really trust. You feel like anything could happen. Yeah. Um, don't feel on safe ground. I think that's such an amazing place to live in cinema where it's not yeah. predictable and it's not boring. <laughs> and I think that is very much in that world. Wonderful. Well, uh, best of luck to the both of you on this premiere. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Congratulations, my God, South by. So everybody yeah. uh, Thank you. is uh, going to be premiering March 10th, okay? At 9.30 p.m. in Austin at South by. And um Again, safe travels to the both of you and have an amazing time. You're going to love it. No, thank you so much, Norm. All right. Thank you. Bye. Thank you soon.